Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another trying new makeup because I have a pile of makeup and it's sitting here begging me to show you. <laughs> um, and basically I just, could, I'm like a kid on Christmas when I get new makeup and I haven't been able to stop myself from trying a lot of these products. So some stuff I've tried already, some stuff I have shown on TikTok, but I haven't sat down and done a video and I'm going to be wrapping up the month here soon. So I'm like, ooh, I need to do a trying new makeup on these because it's going to seem like I tried them for five minutes and you understand. So I apologize in advance for the lighting in this video. It is rainy season in Florida and um, it gets really dark for no reason, any random time. And then the sky opens up and dumps rain everywhere. So. It's really dark out right now and I tried to get through this video as quick as possible, but you know, it is what it is. I'm working with what I got. So that is the deal for today. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jamie. I do beauty videos several times a week. If you like makeup reviews, trying new makeup, drugstore makeup, foundation reviews, all things beauty, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel before you go. And if you guys would like to see all of these new products that I'm trying, see this look that is so glowy, I'm living, then keep on watching. All right, I think we're good. This light is actually better. So I filmed this the other day and then the rain came and it got dark as night and it couldn't film anymore. Um, so we're gonna get through this. It's supposed to rain, but I can see the clouds off in the distance. So hopefully we can get through this fast. Today we are trying out a couple of things. So we're gonna try on the Tarte Hydroflex foundation today. Um, Tarte sent me over a package, so we have like several Tarte products. We have the highly controversial Timeless Smoothing Primer. Um, we have a new pro product to me, which is the Shape Tape Glow Wand. I have the Ultra Creamy Shape Tape Concealer. What else do I have from them? I have a brow pen, which I'm very excited about. And I have a cream blush. I don't know if we're gonna use that because I also have the new Play Tint Pink Lemonade Lip and Cheek Stain from Benefit. So we might try that. We'll see how I'm feeling and like what the look turns out to be. And you know, the shades and all that. I have a couple of new palettes from The Balm. I, got, I posted these on IG stories and lots of people were interested in them, which I kind of was surprised about, but two of those. And then I have two palettes from Pixi. I have um, the Shape Shifter palette, which is a collaboration with the Influencer Promise, and the Mind Your Own Glow palette, which is in collaboration with Makeup by Denise. I posted TikToks with both of these. Some of these products I've already tried on. I did do a, a wear test on TikTok of this foundation as well. Um, I did put one layer of a new mascara on, and that is the Il Maquillage black card mascara. So I do have one layer on right now. I always put one layer on before um, I start my makeup and then I build upon it. And then I also have uh, the liquid camouflage under eye primer. I did a, a try on of this on TikTok as well. And I'm excited to try this on for you guys. I have a couple of lip products here that we're gonna try out. I do have a bunch of the new Urban Decay lipsticks. They just launched a bunch of um, new Vice lipsticks. If you guys have been following along for a while, you know that the Vice lipsticks are my favorite lipsticks of all time. I collect them. I have quite a collection here now of, of Vice lipsticks. And they know my love for Safe Word, which is my favorite lipstick, nude lipstick of all time. I've talked about it endlessly for years. So they so kindly sent over, I think there's seven shades of the new formulas. So I don't know if we're gonna try it out on this video. I'm definitely gonna have a swatch try on for IG and TikTok. Um, but I also have these bombs from Benefit. I have like a lot here. I just need to get through this. I just need to try all this stuff on for you guys because I have so much makeup here and we're gonna do a roundup video soon and there's just a lot of products to include. So 
I'm going to just stop talking and start priming. So I'm going to first just go in with the e.l.f. Uh, Jelly Pop Primer. I tried this on in my last Trying New Makeup, and I really have been enjoying this primer. It is the ultimate gripping primer. I would go so far as to say it grips even more so than Mint Melt, which I didn't think was possible, but... Here we are. I am going to also fill in my pores with this Tarte Timeless Primer here. This is a pore filling primer. It's like the e.l.f. Poreless Putty, but it's not as dense. It's kind of more like silky, I feel like, more like silicone feeling. And this has a little bit of controversy because yeah, it is silicone. First ingredient is cyclopentasiloxane and dimethicone. There's some drama on Instagram with this product. Um, so I just have some on my hand. What I'm noticing with this one, less is more. The less you use, the better, because whatever you put on top of it will go from zero to cakey AF real quick. But they did post a video showing like how it blurs. I feel like she did it over makeup and you guys, I've tried, I tried this yesterday like over makeup and no. I've noticed that things can get really cakey on top of this stuff. So because it's so, it's, it's more emollient than like the e.l.f. putty primer, for example, it is so easy to overdo, but it does blur. I mean, I don't know if you can see that. And then, you know, when you're done putting a little bit on, you can kind of go back in and try to add a little bit more, but I would leave that. I'm gonna leave that for a few minutes just to set. Do I have an opinion on the drama? I mean, look, everybody's using filters for everything these days. Um, I'm gonna go in with this liquid camouflage under eye primer right now. This is supposed to reduce the look of fine lines and perfect under eye concealer application so that your concealer doesn't crease. I tried this on TikTok and I was somewhat shook, so we're gonna we're gonna try it again today. Yeah, everyone's using filters for everything, so like I I'm not shocked, and I don't think any of us really should be shocked. Do I think it's right? No. Especially not to specifically come out and say, this is not a filter, this is just this product. Like that's what she said in the video. That was not very smart. Um, okay, so with this product, what I notice is it doesn't dry down very much. You are supposed to let it sit for a few minutes, but it, it doesn't dry down. Like it stays kind of wet, but I am gonna let it sit for now. And we're gonna move on to foundation. So the shade I got in the Hydroflex is 20N Light Neutral. I thought it was gonna be too light and it worked out fine. The claims on this, it has plant collagen, vitamin E, Hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, algae, medium coverage, skincare serum foundation, has Hydroflex technology, which helps even skin tone, blurs appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and pores. Um, it hydrates, calms and brightens, all of the things. From what I can tell, and I've worn this, I've tried this like a handful of times now, it checks all the boxes. It literally does everything it says that it's going to do. I have really been loving this. I didn't wanna do a full wear test here because I already did one. So if you wanna check that out, you can head over to my TikTok. But I did wanna include it in a video so that you guys could see it demoed. So it has a squeezy bottle. It is a very liquidy foundation as you would expect with the name Serum Foundation in it. And it does have a medium buildable coverage, which I love. It kind of wears or, not wears, but it feels like a tint, but it's a foundation, which I mean, is there anything more perfect? So I'm just applying it on with the brush. Also, um, they have two versions of this on their website. They have one that's just the foundation and one that comes with a sponge. I got the one with the sponge and the sponge is flat on one side flat on the bottom and then it's rounded on the side. I like this sponge. It's very squishy though, very soft. So if you like a more dense sponge, you won't like this sponge. It's reminding me kind of of like the Ofra sponge, if you've ever tried that one. Um, I have it actually right here. It's, this is the softest sponge I had until I got this one. 
Usually I don't like super soft sponges, but for some reason it just really plays well with this foundation. I'm, I'm assuming it was made for this foundation. So there is one layer there um, and you saw how fast that blended out and everything. Just kind of evened things out. I'm gonna add another layer just to show you how it builds. I'm talking really fast. It's really because I want to beat this rain. I don't want the rain to come because my ceiling lights are still not up and I need the light from the outside to light this video. Like I had the shutter speed turned all the way up on my video the other day and it was still dark. And I was like, I guess it's a wrap. And I was like halfway done with the video. So yeah, we don't want that to happen again today. So there we go. There's a second layer, like I think it looks beautiful. It looks like skin, but it's evening things out. It's giving a little bit of blur, like really pretty. And this wears beautifully. Like I had this on in the wear test, I think for nine hours. And that's like, that was like its breaking point. But this doesn't claim to be long wear. So I was pretty impressed with that. And even at the nine hours, it didn't look that bad. Like I recently posted a video uh, on this foundation and I did a wear test. It's on my channel if you wanna check that out. That Oma one looked horrible at the eight hour mark. And this Tarte one actually looked much better at the same point. So, and the Oma one does claim to be long wear and the Tarte one doesn't. I mean, a serum foundation you wouldn't think would be long wear, but this one, this one does uh, okay. Like it does, Eight hours. Okay, so the concealer, I have a couple of concealers, don't I? Yes, but I wanna do, I have the Catrice True Skin concealers. I did wear test the, did I wear test these? I don't, I didn't wear test them. I just tried out one shade on TikTok. I've since gotten more shades. Um, and I'm gonna do a separate video on those. So I think we're gonna just stick with Tarte and we're gonna try out the Shape Tape Ultra Creamy. I've been curious about this and I haven't heard anyone talking about it. I got a mini because they were out of the full size in my shade, which is 29N light medium. So I just got a mini, which is fine with me because I didn't even know if I would like it. Tarte basically gave me a budget and let me kind of get whatever I wanted within that budget from their website, which is not a traditional way people do PR but I kind of appreciate it because then I can really try what I want. <laughs> like products that I know are gonna work for me. It makes sense to me to do it that way. Like I'm not gonna order a bunch of products that are gonna sit in a pile, you know? Or that I'm gonna wanna give away. So I'm just applying this to the center parts of my face first. All right, so now we're gonna apply it over top of that Catrice camo situation, the anti-crease liquid camo. I'm just gonna put it there for now and then maybe over my pores. I've been sort of just taking liberties with where I'm applying concealer, it changes. Bags under my eyes are so real these days. Um, I think I'm gonna let it sit for a second. I saw a TikTok hack where someone just let it sit and it covered the eye bags like so much more if you let it sit. And I usually don't do that, but I think I'm gonna try it today. This is the creamy concealer, so I feel like I can do that. If this was regular shape tape, I wouldn't because that is a dry formula, so it'd probably dry down too fast. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start blending. It blends out really nice. That looks really good. I actually think I could put some more on top of the pore area to distract and deflect there a little bit more. And I'm gonna blend this out. Oh, wow. Is that the concealer or the Catrice? Because my under eye looks so smooth. Like not a single crease amongst us. Are you seeing that? I'm gonna blend this out now. I just wanted a little bit more like pore camouflage there. I think I'll do the same thing on the other side. I don't think that um, Timeless Primer is filling in my pores as well as like Tarte or Tatcha because 
I don't usually need to put more concealer over my pores to conceal them more. I feel like I need to do that right now. So I would have to say, I don't think the Tarte is really doing, doing it. You know what I think I wanna do just for fun? I wanna take some of this and put it right on top of my concealer before I put any powder down. Just to see, because I feel like that video she did on Instagram or TikTok or wherever it was, I feel like she did it over makeup. But when I did it over a powder, it like disintegrated the powder. Like it got cakey and started moving things. And I was like, what? No. Oh, I think it's doing it. Yeah, that's a definite pass. Don't try to put this over makeup. <laughs> But I had to know, because I think that's what she does in the video. And I was like, what are you talking about? Because that's not working for me. But I wondered, all right, I fixed it. We're good. I have a new powder to try um, to show you. I've been testing it. And that is also from Catrice. And this is the True Skin Mineral Loose Hyaluronic Powder. I've been trying this. I got this with my concealer order and that under eye primer stuff. And I believe there's only one shade, it's just called Translucent. I think I really like it, but I'm still not 100% sure. But okay, can we look at my under eyes right now? Like, they look really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just press this powder in just right here in this concentrated area because I still wanna play with some more cream products and. I want to give them the best chance. I probably should have waited on powder, but that's okay. So I do feel like this powder does change the tone a little bit. Does it? I don't know. What do you think? Oh, I think I'm starting to get a crease here. That's what that looks like. Still looks good. Okay, we're gonna leave that for now. I am gonna go in with this glow wand, the Shape Tape Glow Wand. I actually should have weighted on the powder because this actually says it, there's four ways to glow you can put this over shape tape concealer or you wear it alone or you mix it with your moisturizer or primer or on the high points of your face so it basically is a charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter kind of a product it has a doe foot and on the end it has this little blending sponge which is very interesting and I tried it once and it is very like same thing as Hollywood Flawless Filter. Like, same deal, but in a much smaller situation. So I'm just gonna put it on the high points today since I did not, um, I set my concealer already with powder. But I do wanna try this right on top of the Shape Tape because it says you can do that. And I'm very curious to see like what the outcome of that would be yeah this is like flawless filter but like less um less metallic and like more glow it literally there's like no shade to it it like melted into my skin and like looks like my skin is just glowy af i really like that the powder is definitely changing the color of things like i can see that my concealer almost now looks darker than my foundation because of the powder, which is interesting. I do have the powdered bronzer, the um, Shape Shifter palette. I kind of wanted a cream bronze, but I think I won't. Just so we can see how these work. I do have a cream blush though. I have two cream blushes. So I got this, which is a uh, best in class eye and cheek duo. One is the Tarte Lights Camera Action 4-in-1 Mascara in a yellow, which I don't know why it's yellow. And then I have this little Sugar Rush Peach Retreat Blush Cheeks Cream Blush. And here's what that looks like. So I think we might try that. You know what I totally forgot? I also have an eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics, which is the July Ruby palette. So I think I might incorporate that into today. So anyway, I'm gonna take some of this with my finger just to see what the texture is like. It looks like a creamed powder formula. So I'm gonna take the brush that I like to use, which is from Base Blue Cosmetics. 
I'm going to dip this in. I don't know. This could be a hot mess because there is powder on my cheeks now, but let's see. I did show you guys that I had the Pixie Glow, uh, glow Stick. What are they called? On the Glow Blush Sticks. I don't like them. I posted a TikTok. You can see that review. No matter if you have powder or not, it will lift anything you put it on top of. It's like almost like an oil that just disintegrates the makeup underneath it. I've seen people like raving about them and I'm like, I don't get it. Ooh, I really like that. What's the deal with this blush formula? Do we know anything about it? Just that it's a cream blush. It's in this little seashell and it's very flimsy. I think Sugar Rush is like their more like younger, geared towards a younger crowd type of products. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is a very cheap, like kitschy type of packaging, but the product is good. Like that looks really good. It went on beautifully. Okay, so I guess we'll go ahead and put a little bit of powder on the rest of my face and we're gonna go in with this Shape Shifter palette. So I'm just gonna take that powder with this um, powder brush from Haley's and I'm just gonna lightly just dust the edges so that nothing skips. I just, I like wearing powder like, I think you can keep your skin looking fresh and glowy and still use a little bit of powder. I just think it, I'm just a stickler for my makeup lasting a long time. It's important to me. So I just like to use powder. So, all right, we have a contour shade here, which I think is really beautiful. I'm gonna show that to you just for fun. I don't really tend to contour, but I will so that you can see how pretty this is. These really blend out very nice. I'll put some up here too. Like just, I mean, Pixie's face powders are just so beautiful, especially their highlights, but these bronzers are really nice too. I did use this contour shade on the TikTok video as well, so you can refer to that if you would like. Why am I holding this mirror up in front of your face, you ask? I don't know. This is a golden gem bronzer brush from MOTD Brushes. And I'm gonna dip into this shade and this shade and maybe hit it with the contour shade again, just so that it doesn't get too warm. And I'm gonna dust this like right on the bronzy areas, like top of my cheekbones and just to bronze things up a bit. This is a much fluffier brush. So theoretically it will diffuse the product more, but like, why does it look like I have a bronzer helmet? It does look like I have a bronzer helmet. Damn it. This is not the typical like brush that I use. I'm trying this brush set out. A couple other brushes from this collection I have not tried either. There's this Supermodel Sculpt brush, I should have used that. Maybe I will. There's also this Get Cheeky With It MOTD. Is that one Get Cheeky With No, this is Get Bronze, Golden Gem Bronzer. This is Get Cheeky With It. This is Supermodel Sculpt. So I'm gonna actually, cause why not, go into that contour shade with this sculpting brush just to see what it does. Did that do something? Oh yes, it did. Wow, okay. I need to blend that out more, but much more precise so you can get your contour like right where you want it. I'm gonna actually take the warmer bronzer down. All right, so now I don't have that much product on there. I'm just gonna buff, like kind of light pressure, just like buffing it up because that doesn't look super natural at the moment. All right, next we're gonna take the Makeup by Denise Mind Your Own Glow Palette. This one is mostly highlights and I love a good pixie highlight. Like one of their, the collaboration with Rach Loves is like my favorite highlight. How beautiful. They have this blush topper that I think I'm gonna use and also I think I'm gonna use these two shades. So let's grab a blush brush and I'm gonna just Dip into this shade here, which is glazed. These are very glowy, so I'm just gonna put it right on top of the cream. Oh, so it's like a blush topper and a highlight in one. I don't even know that you need a highlight if you use this. 
It's so beautiful. If you haven't seen my TikTok, like wait till you see that. So we have Sunstone and we have Lit. So I'm gonna save Lit for my nose, but like watch this. Are you ready? Like, are you kidding? Like that looks wet. I'm not gonna lie to you. These are like some of the most intense highlights. They were not playing. Okay, so here's what the face looks like. I'm really, I'm really loving everything so far. Jury's still out on that powder though. My pores do not look as blurred as they usually do. Like I can definitely see them more than usual. So that's either the powder or the primer or the combination of the two not doing their job. All right, so I'm gonna just do a quick brow because I need to, like I can't look at my brows and try to do an eye look, like it throws me off. So I have the Big Ego DIY Brow Detailing Pen. This is a Tarte product as well. And oh, it looks like a Sharpie, interesting. And there's a spoolie, shake well it says. Why is the spoolie not attached? Like what am I gonna do with it? I don't like that. Why are you giving me a separate spoolie? Like, I appreciate the spoolie at all, okay? So at least you had a spoolie in your mind. But then, like, why wouldn't you just attach it with a cap, you know? Is it me? I, I need a spoolie, though. I do. We went over this the last time with the Jason Wu brow stuff. That was a disaster. Oh, this is interesting. This looks like a marker. It has an angle tip to it, but it's very skin. Oh, it's a brush. Hmm. Ever since these came on the scene, I just, I'm like, brow pencil who? I used to be all about precisely my brow, and now I'm like, oh no. Why use a brow pencil when you can use a brow pen? All right, so I just went ahead and put some of the ColourPop Brow Freeze um, in my brows. I don't know if this is gonna be a favorite, you guys, because I feel like you have to hold it this way in order for the product to like come out. And this is very awkward and no one does their brows like this. Like the NYX Lift and Snatch brow pen that's $11, like doesn't do this. Like you kind of need to store it upside down or like shake it, but when you're applying it, it doesn't do this. I don't like this. Cause like I'm having trouble keeping the product at the tip and it's not giving me the hair like strokes because of that. I think I'm gonna go ahead and what am I gonna do? Let me show you the balm uh, palettes first off. So these are really cute. They're called the Mail Order male as in like dude eyeshadow palette and it's to surely you know best at 10 want it my way san francisco california it's so cute domestic male and here is what the palettes look like i've already dipped into these i did an eye look on like just off camera just because i couldn't wait i like wanted to see what the formulas are like and they're really beautiful um this is a beautiful color story like if you like neutrals it's a little bit on the mauve side. And then this one is the mail order first class mail to Amanda Cook. Amanda Cook. Shit, that's funny to me. 18, have it my way, San Francisco. Uh, let's exploit men in our makeup products, I love it. This one is very pretty. This is a bit deeper, more bronzy with that like warm, delicious toasty shade what what would you even call it like a corally a burnt coral really beautiful though i really like that and don't we like that better than we like the bh july don't we i feel like we do i mean granted i've been doing an awful lot of neutral looks lately and you guys might be kind of sick of that but in the interest of trying these out i feel like i should and then i can do like either i'll do a short on the BH Ruby. Would you guys wanna see a short? I don't know, let me know. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you even are interested in this because I've done a couple of standalone videos on some of the previous months and those videos didn't get a ton of views. 
not that I'm getting a ton of views these days anyways. I don't know what's going on with YouTube, but all of a sudden, like, I feel like my channel's crashing and burning and I can't really figure out why, but that's a whole nother story for another day. Um, but in particular, these videos didn't really do great. Oh, that sparkly gold shade is really pretty though. I don't have time for this. The rain is coming. So let's just stick with the bomb. So in the domestic male palette, I'm gonna take this brown shade. This is the deepest brown. It's a little bit deeper than the one in the other palette. And I'm just going to, this look is gonna be so basic. I just, by the way, laid down some of this Jason Wu eye primer in number three. Um, and I left it tacky because I'm noticing this primer works really well when it's tacky. So I thought, why not? To the other palette, I'm gonna go and take this center shade and I'm gonna use that to blend out. So I'm just gonna stamp this on the edge of that brown and then bring it in. Yeah, these have a lot of pigment. I just put those same two shades on my lower lash line. I am going to take this shade here in the domestic male palette. Oh, I think these pop out. They do, look, they pop out. Oh, I like that. I'm gonna take this shade, it's called Nico Time on a flat brush. This one's from Almar Cosmetics. And I'm just gonna put that on my inner half of my lid. So now I'm gonna take that uh, coral shade. I'm just gonna wipe my brush off and use the same brush. Autograph. This is from the uh, first class male palette. Pop that right in the middle. Actually, yeah, I think maybe I'll just do this more with my finger. Yes, I like it with the finger. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put some um, liner and lashes on because I don't have any of those to try. Then we're gonna come back and I'm going to put on a lip. All right, so liner and lashes are on. I used the Kiss um, Foam Ink Lashes in Little Black Dress and I actually just cut them in half, so they're just a half lash. Um, I am gonna put on some more mascara. This is that Il Maquillage Black Card Mascara. Now this is interesting because one side of the brush, it looks like a hairbrush. One side of the brush is flat with no bristles, and the other side is all bristles, so like a hairbrush would be, right? So what I noticed I like to do with it, um, well first, I'm gonna just blend my lashes with the falsies. And I also, like, I like this brush because it literally gets every single lash and separates everything really nicely. But also I like to flip it over and just take the flat part and push my lash up. And I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do with this, but I feel like it does like give me a bit of a lift. And I'm into that. I don't know if you can see like how pretty that is. It's... Yeah. Like it made my lashes and the falsies like blend so good. I hope it looks that way on camera because in person it looks really good. All right, so I'm not gonna do the Urban Decay lipsticks in this video. I think I'm gonna just, I'll put it as a short on YouTube, but I'll also have it on TikTok and Instagram. So. You know, I'm not, I know not everybody's on TikTok, so if you're not, you're missing out. But um, I'm just gonna line my lips with this Essence Lip Liner in Because Duh. Okay, and then I'm gonna try out this um, California Kissing Color Bomb that I've been wanting to try from Benefit. This is in the shade Peach Pink. Oh, these are really cute. It comes in this little, looks like a tampon. But that's what it looks like. Um, but the bottom, it has like a little flower. I'm assuming you twist, yes. The color looks really pretty. It looks really glossy. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna swatch first. Oh yeah. Oh, it's got a lot of color too. Glide on this moisturizing lip balm for up to eight hours of smooth, luxurious color. Who needs lipstick anyway? Well, wow, that's, I got like a little piece of something in my lip, but that's the most pigmented lip balm I've ever seen. Wow. I don't know what the heck I got on my lip. It's like fuzzies or something. Maybe it was on my lip liner. 
yeah, that's like super pretty and hydrating and glossy, but like pigmented like a like a high shine lipstick kind of. Ooh, very impressed with that. Like I'm gonna I'll leave a um pinned comment and let you know like how this wears, like if it is as long wearing as it's claiming on the package. But this is the final look. So we're gonna do some speed reviews here. So let's start off with the primer. I don't know. Like my pores look pretty like front and center, like more so than usual. So it's either the powder didn't do its job or the primer or both. So I'm gonna have to try this separately with my Urban Decay powder and that's gonna tell me for sure. If you'd like to see a side-by-side -side wear test of this and the e.l.f. for fun, let me know because I could do that. But I definitely need to try this with my like ride or die powder and then try the Catrice with my e.l.f. primer and then I'll have a better, better idea. I love this foundation. I love it. It is so skin-like. It literally like, if I told you I had nothing on my skin and you were standing here looking at my skin in person, you would believe me. Cause like that's how much this looks natural. It's like the most natural looking foundation with coverage that like I've ever probably seen. Like it's really beautiful. Like the foundation is like a A++ chef's kiss. And keep in mind, I have normal to dry skin. If you're oily, you might not like this. But if you're dry, you might love this. I think you will love this. Um, this under eye situation, I'm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, it doesn't get rid of your lines. It's not gonna get rid of your lines, but like there's no concealer that's sitting in them. Like, I think my under eyes look really, really good right now. Like, better than they have in a while, actually. And I definitely like the concealer also. Like I think the concealer looks beautiful. Very impressed with this. Like my under eyes, like I said, I mean, they just look so smooth and like good. I'm really liking that. I don't know which one is the culprit or if it's the combo, but like under eyes, check, check, yes. The blush I really liked. I thought that that was beautiful. These, yes, love. The brows, okay, so I just don't know, you guys. I just, the jury's still out. I'm gonna have to keep using this. I'm not gonna sit here and hold this downwards while I'm doing my brows. Like, I feel like I have a bit of a Sharpie brow going on right now. This didn't give me the hair-like strokes because of the way I had to use it. Mm, it's probably not gonna be a favorite, but I will continue to test it. This product is okay. I'm gonna keep testing this one as well. I am gonna try it over my shape tape, like I said, just to see what it does. The eyeshadow palettes I really like. I think these are really cute. The mascara I really like. So far, so good. I think I covered everything. I hope I covered everything. If I missed anything, I will make sure to mention it in the comments below, in the pinned comment. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I apologize again for the lighting. I will get the lighting together. It is just, rainy season here and hurricane season and you understand so thanks for hanging out with me i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already you have no idea how much that really helps my channel and my channel needs your help right now so thumbs up a comment any engagement you can give me is so appreciated don't forget to subscribe and um don't forget the glam latte beauty podcast is everywhere you listen to podcasts all those details are in the description box down below thank you guys so much for watching for hanging out with me and i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next one bye